A show of unity. Tonight, the girls basketball teams from Norman and Tulsa kneeling during the national anthem. Now, this comes after a broadcaster made racist remarks about the Norman team taking a knee at their last game. News Channel 8's Ethan Hutchins has a reaction from both teams and new information on the broadcaster who since apologized. It was a defining moment met with roaring applause from the stands. Norman and Tulsa Union girls kneeling during Friday's playoff basketball game, a show of unity against racist remarks directed at them hours earlier. The N-word and profanity caught on a hot mic from a broadcaster live streaming Thursday's game between Norman and Midwest City. He was reportedly commenting on Norman's girls' decision to kneel during the anthem. An attorney for that broadcaster who made the remarks confirms his name is Matt Rowan. In a statement, he apologizes for the comments, blaming the incident on his diabetes. The incident has gone viral, but for those in this crowd, it's just extra noise now. Uh, there's no room, no place for that in our society whatsoever, uh, especially when it's directed at young student athletes such as ours. We spoke with athletic directors from Norman and Union schools, both echoing that what happened was wrong and what the teams did tonight was healing. There's no place in our society for this whatsoever. It's inexcusable. Couldn't be more proud no matter how the outcome of this game is. That was... Uh, one of the most proud moments I've had as an athletic director of any of our student athletes and, and coaches as well. And as if this moment wasn't enough. <laughs> Maybe when Norman won in a close game, their coach overcome with joy. I think with everything going on right now, we just want to be exactly who we are. Playing hard and keeping focused, even when faced with drama off the court. Reporting in Sapopa, Ethan Hutchins, News Channel 8. Hobart Public Schools says the other man on the broadcast is one of their employees. They say he is now on administrative leave for not condemning the racist language at the time. State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister released a statement saying the remarks made were sickening and vile. It is critical on all of us to be clear that racism has no place in society and must never be tolerated. My heart aches for the young female athletes who are subjected to this hateful and disgusting tirade. The NFHS network released a statement saying it's cut ties with the crew involved and are investigating the incident. 